this is the only shelf I have in my bathroom to hold my stuff. So I kept it acrylic, glass, and plastic and went to Dollar Tree and grabbed some things. The first DIY I did was this clear tray that I found in the party section in Dollar Tree. I thought this would be a perfect fit so I picked up three of them. The first thing I did was take the sticker off. It was on there pretty good, but it was easy peeling it off. I used some black spray paint and I spray painted it about two layers front and back. It took about a half an hour for all three trees to dry. Next project, I picked up these two glass cookie jars. They had plastic ones, which I picked up too, but I used those for the kitchen. Plus, they were in a bigger size. I needed these sizes for the bathroom. These labels I picked up from the stationery aisle. I thought I may use these to go along with the letters that I picked up, which is these. And they were in the stationery department as well in Dollar Tree. As you can see, I went on ahead and labeled the jaws so I can place them inside the bathroom. I also put a layer of clear tape on top so it can be water free so the labels will not get messed up with water and I also went on ahead and put the bath salts inside the jars. In the kitchen now they have the measuring cups and I use the not small ones but next to the smallest ones to fit perfectly into these jars and it was the nice size cups to pick up and scoop what I needed for my bath water or my foot bath. I labeled this jar as well and I spray painted the top. This is a three department container I used from the bathroom aisle and I labeled this as well. Along with this, I was super excited when I found these containers and they were in the bathroom aisle as well. Now I found one jar with a nozzle on it and I got discouraged because I wanted both nozzles because I want to use these for my shampoo and conditioners for me and my two sons because we use the same hair products in the house. I labeled them as well. My next DIY was these four photo frames, contact paper and some greenery. I am now taking off the stand of these photo frames as so I will not be needing it in this project. I'm taking apart the photo frames. You can leave the glass inside which I took out but you can leave the glass inside because you will be putting it right back in. I have contact paper. You can also use whatever material you would like to use, even down to wrapping paper. Whatever will fit inside the frame. I'm taking the picture that was in the frame to measure it with what I would like to cut out. I'm looking at some flowers that I would like to use. 
because there's three patterns in this contact paper. I'm cutting out a chunk of this contact paper so I don't have to use the whole roll while cutting out the four squares for my photo frames. The rest of the contact paper I'll be rolling it up and setting it to the side because I'll be using it for something else in this video. As you can see I am cutting out all my four squares to fit my photo frames. This is a perfect match. I will be inserting the glass back into the frame along with the parchment paper. See, it fits pretty well. I'm putting back the picture that came with the frame along with the cardboard that was connected to the stand. I'll be doing the other three as so. And here it is. It looks perfect. Right now I'm just measuring the frames before I hot glue them together. If you want to try this at home, I advise to be very careful because this hot glue is really hot. I am simply gluing the photo frames together. Making sure each side of the frames are perfectly sized together and glued perfectly. Here's the third frame. For a tighter hole, you can also use the E6000 glue along with the hot glue. It's whatever your preferences are. Again, make sure that you use just enough glue so it won't spill over and look a mess coming out those frames and you want to make sure that they are glued evenly. The fourth and final piece.
we all done and here's the look you don't need anything in the bottom because it's a square shape which it will sit on its own And here it go guys isn't that cute i picked up three bigger frames to use this as wall decor here's another diy this you will find these boards in the beach and sea department in dollar tree i covered the stars with tape because i'll be spray painting the boards and i need those stars for something very special i used two heavy layers of black spray paint it came out perfect okay guys here's my small bathroom there's no shelves there's no cabinets nothing to store anything in the only thing I do have is a medicine cabinet above the sink and the closet is in the hallway before I started to do anything you know I had to clean scrub and disinfect really good These are some black curtains I ordered from Amazon, which I will have the link down below. And I tried to order the longest ones that the seller had. I am now putting the curtains on the stick so I can hang them up. I advise to be very careful when you are in the bathroom hanging up something so high This next item I got from Amazon as well, and I will have the link down below. This is uh, shelves that you can place anywhere, but it's specifically made to go in between your washer and dryer. But I thought it would be perfect for my small bathroom. So I ordered two of them. They also come with hooks. Enough room to wash my hands. So you remember the trays that I spray painted and I, of course I spray painted three of them to go in the bathroom and this is what I'll be doing with them. Placing them on this cart which I will have to hot glue them in order for them to stay in place. And this is how it looks. Now it's time to fill the trays up with all my essentials. I picked up these washcloths as well from Dollar Tree, rolled them up so they can have like a spa look. These bottles here I didn't label but I thought they would be really neat to hold my cotton balls and my cotton rounds. And this is how it came out. I think that was very neat. 
I picked up two black baskets from Dollar Tree to hang my face mask in one, my bath bombs, and my shower fizzes. I decided to hang the three frames on top of the spark carts. With the matching plant holder. I found some neat books for me and the children from Dollar Tree that will go right along with the decor. Guys, remember this? I made a bathtub table. I enjoyed making this. I actually had to put another board under it so it can be steady to hold all the gadgets and things. This towel holder I also picked up from Dollar Tree that will hold my bathtub table to get it out the way from the kids. I put the shampoo and conditioner in the shower with our shower gels. Remember to keep it kids friendly guys when you have small children. I also picked up this little rack that I thought would be pretty neat for the boys to hang their washcloths on. So they don't have to reach high and knock things over. They can just get it right there off this rack. I also put this little stool in the bathroom for my five-year-old so he can reach the sink. And it works out pretty good. And I added a mirror. So guys, here's the before. Here's the after. If you notice, the bathroom is already black and white, so I just kept it simple and kept it black and white. And I just added touches of yellow. You don't have to necessarily go out and get yellow. Just use the products that you already have and just let it stand out. If you guys are wondering where all my other products are, well, because I have those shelves in the bathroom, I have enough room to store them in my linen closet in the hallway. Me and my kids feel so relaxed when we take our baths. You gotta have the blue cleansing for your toilet from Dollar Tree. Well guys, I thank you for watching my video. Give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And I will say good night. And I'll see you in the next video.